get in their food. They're flipping it. Now they're gonna eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh, now they're getting it in their water. Uh oh. I guess we're gonna have to stack it up again. Where did I put Just those do the things? water. Where are those things? Are they over there? I don't see them. They're cracking me up. These are like the funniest chickens ever. How much they love. Look at that. <laughs> totally. So what are these? They're my black, French, black copper marins. They will lay a dark brown egg. And we have, we believe that we have all the hens and then little rooster right here. <coughs> Because, hi bud, he does not have a very long butt feather. Get. <laughs> cat was I know the to cat was going to eat him. And he has a very pronounced crown area, crest, whatever you want to call it. Yes, you do. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi, buddy. And the rest of the girls, they have a longer tail, and they don't have that big crest comb, whatever you want to call it, on top. Yeah, so there's the rooster. And there's the... There you go. So we have there's five hens one. So and one the, rooster. The tail right there so yeah his tail he doesn't have one and then the girls do and they have all french french black copper marins have feathers on their feet i know sister i know i know see how she has these little feathers she'll get bigger ones i know i'm not hurting you i know no, were you having fun? Okay, I'll put you down. It's cold. But we are in love with these um, heat plates for the roost or for the chickens and the brooders instead of the heat lamps because um, obviously we don't want a fire in our brand new barn. So um, we got one for this one, and then over here we have um, what we call their blue silver ruds. I almost talk. When I say Marins. I always say Marins. 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 They're Marins. 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 Not Marins. They're Marins. French black copper Marins. Right? Right. Yeah. Something like that. Uh huh. Okay, well, whatever. Can you put this up? These are French. Gosh, why am I? I'm getting them confused. I need to stop. These are called blue silver ruds. And we had five of them. And now we only have four. Because one, when we got passed away, she didn't make it. She didn't do well in the in the. The other ones are smart. Drive. Where are they at? Oh, they were all right there. Oh. <laughs> they were hiding underneath each other. There they are. There they are. The four of them. So we have two of the darker, and we have two of like the blue silver 
And we don't know. We suspect that all these are hens, but we don't know. Yeah, it was a straight run. So yeah, so and like we we just got this one. You get the we got these are producers pride from Tractor Supply. And I love them because they are they have a brooder button and a heater button. And it's just like such the right temperature for them to Is it getting hot? Yeah, it's warm. And they can get underneath there and then get out. So that's what we have. So these guys will lay <clears throat> a green egg. They're the only purebred chicken that will lay a green egg. So I'm super excited about them. We got them from a farm in North Carolina called Sadie Girl Farm. And she was super sweet and um, great, just great to deal with. So I highly recommend them. Um, but I'm super excited about the silver reds. We're obviously going to have to get more if they're all girls because we do want to roo um, in each um, coop. So if they all are girls, then we'll have to get more so that we can get a rooster so that we can have fertilized eggs and hatch them ourselves because inside, I'm going to show you that too. We have eggs that are in the incubator and going to hatch soon. So I'm super excited about that because that's our first time ever doing that. But these are our brooders that we built out of pellet woods. Pellet wood. Super um, cheap. Super easy. Obviously this one's a little bit taller and smaller just because um, it came, the bottom piece came with a solid floor. So we just kept that and then added on the sides and made a top. And then obviously this one came with this big bottom, which is good. And um, we just, Jason just did, added the, the, cut up the pallets as you see in the video. Um, and just added it, put it together. He's very good at this stuff. I say, I need this. And he's like, okay, honey, we'll make it. <laughs> so anyway, we have some cold weather just like everybody else right now going on. And so this weekend we probably won't get much done, but we need to get a coop because somebody in our town has chickens from a friend that, um, they are having to move and they can't have their chickens anymore. So um, we're gonna get some laying hens for free. So we've gotta get our chicken coop going and get that done for them. And then we gotta get a outside like, kind of a playpen I think I wanna do for them so that when it is nicer they can go outside. Um, and then obviously they'll be in their own coop that will make for them so that's exciting but yeah that's our new addition to our family homestead here i just love them i love being a chicken mommy again they're so cute and fun to watch all right guys so if you want to check us out on our chicken journey. <laughs> um, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Like our our um, video, subscribe to us so that you can follow us and watch us make our chicken coops and everything else that we're doing on Farmly Life Homestead here and um, Farmly Life Farm. I don't know what we're calling it yet. I just know it's Farmly Life, right? So, um, Anyway, just subscribe, ring that bell, hit that bell button, and that way when we do upload, you can get a, a notification that we have a new video, and then you can watch it so you don't miss anything. So, um, we love that you guys are watching and hanging out with us. Today is Jason's birthday, um, so 
Um, we didn't get to do much because it was freezing outside. It's not really like freezing. It's not like Indiana weather, but it is, it is chilly for Texas. So anyway, um, so we hung out with his mom or his dad and stepmom for a little while and, um, and we grabbed some Mexican food and came back to the, to the farm and taking care of the animals because it's chilly willy and we wanted to, we threw up a tarp over the big hole that, um, where the door is going to be so that there's not a lot of wind in here. We're hoping that works out. Um, so I think it's supposed to be like 10 degrees or 6 degrees on Sunday and Monday in the evening time. So, but anyway, again, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell. We love that you guys are following us and joining us. Love you guys. Catch you next time. way to take pallets apart is using the sawzall and with the metal cutting blade a long one the longer the better um, just so that you're able to get through the wood so that using this tool makes it a lot easier we used to take pallets apart by hammering the nails apart or hammering the nails out but the problem with that when you're trying to hammer them out is that the nails that they use are they have swirls in them um, basically to help keep the, the wood together with the nails. So using a sawzall with a metal blade makes life a lot easier. So I would highly suggest doing that. Baby, you've been driving me crazy for so long now. And the love for you is insane. But I wouldn't change a thing unless you wanted me to I'll do anything, baby You've been driving me crazy For so long now well, my love for you is insane But I wouldn't change a thing So 
I'm making the <clears throat> the top now because we're gonna this box is gonna have a top opening. So mm, you're dark. I mean, I got some sun, but no, like I couldn't I even see you. It was like black. Okay. So um, with this lid, all I'm trying to do now is make it to where it'll open from the top and have hinges on the back. This is going to be the back. So I've got to put obviously four pieces of wood together, but I, uh, I'm also going to use some 45 degree angled wood that is essentially going to help attach and make it a little bit stronger. So I'm going to try that and see if that works. Hopefully it does. But that's what I'm doing now is cutting and measuring and making sure that we get that initial frame in and then we'll go back and, and make it a little bit stronger. Part of the pallet are you using for the frame of the top? Uh, the solid, I don't know what they would call them, but they're the, basically the two by fours of the pallet oh, cool. that all the slats go on um, that I'm using. So it's all essentially reclaimed wood because uh, I haven't used any new wood for this yet. And I don't know that I'm going to have to. I'm praying I don't have to. So that this will. I mean, I don't mind using new wood, but it's actually kind of nice to try and figure out if we can do this without using new wood. Now the tricky part now is getting all these together. So that's the top. I gotta think. <clears throat> Chicken wire across. Hey, don't throw the stuff. We can lay chicken wire across. And then put two 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 by fours there. Or you know, put a two by four here and a two by four there. And nail it all in. And I think it might actually be I think that might actually work. That it's good. It's like good. That. Cut there. Nail that in. There. 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 Do the same thing down there. But the chicken wire would be sandwiched in there. I think I like that idea. I think I want to try that. Nothing's stapled together. So the wire on top. 
Though you haven't said that 